So the first title that we are showing today is Cinemora. Uh, Cinemora, as you know, is a co-production between Grasshopper Manufacturer and Digital Reality. Uh, and the split between the two teams were the Grasshopper Manufacturer created the concept art, given us the art direction, and uh, the famous composer sitting next to you on the couch has created the soundtrack and all the audio, sound effects and everything else. Uh, at the same time, Digital Reality, the team led by Theodore Reiker, who is sitting uh, over there, he's the mastermind behind Cinemora, he designed the game, he came up with the vision, he's the vision holder, uh, and the team led by him created the game uh, from programming, from technical perspective, executed it, and so on and so on. So uh, it's a true co-production, we are really proud that we pulled it off. Uh, because it's not really usual that a Hungarian company can do a co-production with a Japanese one and it becomes a success. We believe that Cinemura will be one of those examples that's very successful. Uh, so what we try to do with, uh, with Cinemura, we would like to bring back the shoot em up genre to the, to the mainstream. Uh, shoot em ups of today are too difficult and too scary for the average player. Uh, Cinemura is not. Uh, so with Cinemora we added a story mode uh, because it comes with a story. So there's a story that unfolds as you play through the levels, uh, which means that it, it's easier for the players to, to get sucked into uh, the entire experience. So uh, in story mode, we have two difficulty settings, normal and easy. The easy mode, uh, so the easy difficulty setting in story mode uh, is a really approachable, a really forgiving experience for players new to the genre or you're just looking for to have some fun instead of uh, having a lot of frustration. Um, but of course we have the arcade mode uh, that comes with again two more difficulty levels. One is hard, the other one is insane. Uh, and, and that's what we created for the, for the fans, uh, the diehard fans of the, of the shoot 'em up genre. So we have a complicated ranking system in there that considers everything, you know, and, uh, and just pushes up the difficulty so you can really go for the high scores. Um, so Cinemora, uh, as you see, we are playing the, the story mode now, uh, and we have cutscenes, um, which are, you know, have been removed from the arcade mode, so arcade mode is only about you know, uh, action from the beginning to the end, but in the story mode you have the cutscenes, you can also uh, skip them or fast forward them if you want, but it's, it's, it's there. Now we have seven levels with uh, 13 different bosses, so it's about two bosses every, every single level, uh, and there is no repetition in the levels. We are really proud to have created a word that's unique from the beginning to the end. So every level is unique uh, and there is no repetition in there. Right, as you see, Cinemora is, uh, is a time extension based shoot 'em up. We have seen that for racing games, but not really for, for shoot 'em ups before. Uh, you have the timer on the, uh, on the top of the, uh, of the screen. Uh, this, this shows how much time you have left. And if you kill an enemy, then it will increase. If you are hit by a bullet or you collide with an enemy, then it will decrease. When it reaches zero, you die. So there is no health bar for you, it's just the timer. Uh, of course, he's the designer of the game and playing the easy mode. Uh, that's why he has you know, so much time left, but it's going to be a continuous struggle for time as you play the game. That's where the, the Cinemora, the title comes from, which means without delay in Latin. Even inside the levels, the different sections look completely different. Now, we had the plane going underwater, transforming into a submarine, and now we are underwater and fighting uh, under, underwater enemies. Uh, besides the, uh, the time extension based gameplay, uh, we also have some other uh, time related features. So we have uh, time manipulation devices. Uh, you can slow down time, uh, you can reverse time and you can use uh, these to, to get through the, uh, the game. You have different planes, you have different secondary weapons. What you have just seen was a secondary weapon. 
uh, as you have different time manipulation devices and you have more than 60 different combination of all these three that gives you a lot of reply replayability and variety in the in the game so the the team that Theo is leading is 10 people and for example there were two programmers one created the engine and another one everything else so what you see is is a work of a really small and focused and extremely talented team and of course the art direction and the concepts we have received from grasshopper were just mind-blowing so it was really a, a, a match made in heaven we really found that found that digital reality and grasshopper has a lot to lot of lot of common things regardless of the distance we have between the two teams and we kind of put both companies dna into this product what you have just heard uh, the voiceovers are in hungarian and it it will stay like that so you have english subtitles you have japanese subtitles but the voiceovers are done by hungarian actors famous hungarian actors and it will give it will help with the atmosphere of the game because of the of the story that will be unfolded as you play through the game. Again, this is the same level, but another section. You, we are in a cave now. And we, we want to show you the, uh, the boss at the end of this stage. Uh, because again, that, that's something that, you know, we think just looks awesome. The top right bar is the, uh, is the time manipulation device so that you can rewind time and reverse time and it, it, it just uses it up. If you pick up blue power-ups, then it will refill. You can upgrade your weapon uh, with those red, uh, red icons and that's, uh, you can upgrade it to level 10. And you have the secondary weapon, the seeker missiles for this, uh, for the green power-ups.